Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Interscope recording artist Xavier. A little punch of music. When I was growing up in Massachusetts, you know, Great Brampton, Massachusetts, there was not a lot of black people in the town or anything like that. And we were an East African family, it's like 13 children. So it was pretty hard going to like the public schools and like we couldn't go to Christmas parties and all that. So you always got to feel kind of like an outsider. By the time I hit 12, you know, I, I wanted to get out and do my own thing. Moved to like Oakland, California. I just wanted to just blend in. I got into boxing, amateur boxing, that really helped me. That saved, to me, that saved my life. It's the first thing in my life that was extremely disciplined that I enjoyed besides my father. <laughs> Boxing is kind of a one-on-one -on -one thing, you know, it's not really, there's no team effort or anything. I think I'm that kind of person. I'm very hands-on. I like to do everything myself. And so maybe that's where this whole mentality came from, from boxing, because you have to train, you're going to get whooped. My name's Xavier, and this is my band, Dead From Sex, and we came to play for y'all. Hey! It's a new day. Can you? Well, all right. I think vibe is everything. When you're recording, that's all there is I mean, in music. The spirituality and vibe. Everything else is just made up. I just used to play scales every day. I used to sneak into this building at UC Berkeley. Pretend I was a student there and out. I, I just played scales every day. And I played guitar as soon as I met Masa, the great Masa. And I met him like two years ago. He inspired me to pick up the guitar. I figured once I want to learn something, boy, it's on. I'm going to do it day and night. Pretty obsessive about things that I want. My family and my background and my heritage influenced me greatly, and I always mention them in songs. I even base songs upon them, because I'm very proud of them. Angel of Mercy has a lot to do with my father's homeland, Somalia. Probably seeing all the things on the news and everything might have prompted that. I really felt inspired. That's one time I felt inspired with something that was out there and, and wrote a song. It was just sad to see those people, like, and see the country and the state that it's in. Saturday's song is basically about how I see the state of our nation, about violence, mistrust. They're not very cool. I wrote Purely Sexual because I want to be conscious and aware of like the consequences of just sex. Who would ever think that the act of reproducing would eventually end up killing us? Cinnamon Girl, right? Right? She's beautiful, isn't she? The Cinnamon Girl is, um, I answered it so much more eloquently in there, but Cinnamon Girl is, I think it's a happy and sad song. It's a, it's a contradiction. This whole thing is about honesty. Just connect with yourself and be yourself. I don't know how many people out there believe themselves, do everything that you want to do, and screw everybody else's opinions. That's it. There's nothing else, you know, besides that for me. I hate to analyze all this. I don't analyze anything like, oh, I'm this is my dancing day, and this is my mood. Just kind of just go with the flow. I'm just, you know, glad to be here. That's what I think about every day. That's what I think about. I'm glad to be here. I just say thank you a lot. That's my probably my favorite word. Just thank you. Getting a record too. That's great. I mean, it's like you know your dream coming true. <laughs> 